Hey guys, today I'm going to be chatting with you about the four different back to breast turns. I've gotten a lot of questions about the differences between the turns and the different flips that there also are, and I've done videos on all four of the turns. And a lot of the questions are, you know, why is this turn faster than the other one? I already learned this one, why should I bother learning this one? Is it faster? So I just thought I'd make a video this week explaining the four different back to breast IM transition turns. So let's get started. The first turn is obviously the open turn, which you just touch on your side on your back and you roll your legs up and you push off into breaststroke. This is the turn that everybody learns at first, the turn that I learned first and have done most of my life until I learned the flips. And that's because this one is simply the easiest one to do. The only problem with this turn is that it can be really iffy depending on the pool, you know, whether you have a gutter up higher or you don't have a gutter, you can grab onto the wall. If there's no gutter, your hand can slip because you don't have anything to grab onto. So it can be a little bit hard to do from pool to pool, so sometimes your times can be different because you mess up the turn. The timing can also be a little bit off because you don't really have to have momentum going into it. You just kind of lay on your side and then you hope that you have the right timing to hit the wall immediately, otherwise you're just stuck there kicking into the wall like this and you're like, where's the wall, where's the wall? This turn also allows you to hang onto the wall when you're tired, so in a 400 IM especially, even if you don't realize that you're hanging onto the wall, since you do grab it, you can have a tendency to grab it, take a breath, and then go, which can really slow down your IM as well. So this turn can definitely be a little bit iffy, so it's great to learn at first, but I would recommend the minute you learn this turn to start working on one of the three flips. The first back to breast flip is the bucket turn, which I have done a video on. This turn is probably the easiest one to learn because it's not a full flip of any kind. So you touch the wall on your side, and you bring your knees into your chest, and you spin around on your butt like a bucket and then you push off onto breaststroke. This turn is definitely more efficient than the open turn, but it can be a little slower because you're still above the water and you're still spinning on the wall. Just like an open turn, you touch, you bring your knees under. It's not as much faster as doing a flip like the other two turns. Anytime you're spinning on the wall or bringing your knees under on the wall, you're pushing against the water and it won't be as fast. There are two flips that are considered like a suicide flip. Not really sure why it's called that, but that's just what it's been labeled, so that's what I'm gonna call it. And the first one is the back to breast suicide flip, and this one you're literally doing a backflip. You come into the wall with lots of momentum, hit the wall with your hand underneath the surface, so a good part of this turn is it doesn't matter whether there's a gutter or not because your hand is under the water where there is always going to be a wall. There's always a wall underneath the water. And then once you hit the wall, you do kind of a backflip and you pull your knees in and flip over and you push off on your stomach. This turn is a lot more efficient than trying to touch the wall, bring your knees around and then push off. But this is very labor intensive. You have to have a lot of momentum going in. You have to pull yourself up and over into a backflip, which can be really, really hard, especially during a 400 IM. Before I learned the crossover flip, which I will talk about in a minute, sometimes I would not do this flip and I would just do an open turn because I didn't have enough air to do it. I'd be swinging backstroke into the wall and I'd be thinking about, should I do it? Can I do it? Do I have enough air? And half the time I would say no, I can't do it, and I would just do a quick open turn. Sometimes this back to rest flip can be even slower than just a regular open turn because you're so out of breath by like the underwater pull for breaststroke that you end up not really pulling enough water and you just go through the motions really quickly to get up to the surface. So you just pull down, you go up, and you're like <gasps> and you breathe into your breaststroke. That was a lot of hand motions, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> If you haven't learned the crossover flip and you want to do this flip, it's great for like 100 IM and sometimes the 200 IM, but even that can be a little bit tricky. But definitely the 100 IM if you haven't learned the more advanced crossover one. The most advanced back to breast flip is the crossover turn that I just did a video on last week. This one is definitely a lot more complicated, so I got a lot of questions saying, you know, I already know how to do the other flips. Why would I need to spend so much time learning this complicated flip? is it really that much faster? Is it really worth the time to learn it? And yes, it is. All of the Olympians do it. I love it. The biggest difference with this flip is that it is not labor intensive at all. Since it's easy to do it at a really slow pace, 
then when you do it at a sprint pace in like a 200 100 im it's extremely extremely fast because it doesn't use as much energy so you're in the wall you're off the wall you're doing your strong underwater brushstroke pull because you're not as out of air which makes this turn extremely efficient and you can do it at 400 im because Again, it's not that labor intensive. It did take me a really long time to figure that flip out because I didn't have a really awesome video to figure it out. So you guys will probably figure it out faster than I did because you have my video to watch. I would really, really recommend everybody learning that flip. In my opinion, it's just better to know all four turns so you always have the choice between them all and you yourself can choose which one works the best for you. So if you end up not liking the crossover, then do one of the other ones, but at least you have the option to do all four of them. Go watch all my videos. They will be linked here in the card, the little eye in the corner up there somewhere. And I'll also have the links in the description box below so you guys can go watch those videos. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if it helps you and subscribe if you haven't already to see my next videos. Bye. The back to breast. What? <coughs> Stop! Stop! That's inappropriate. Very manners. Okay, you can do that later. Well, if there is a, if there, don't really sure why it's called that. That makes no sense. So this flip. Oh, I got a frog. <coughs> got like a frog in my throat. I don't like that. Sorry.